What comes to your mind when you think of heaven on earth? For many people, it's a relaxing place. In contrast, others think of an adventurous site. For some peace lovers, it's picturesque. Well, believe us or not, Bali has it all. We bet you must have heard about Bali through all the influencers traveling there. And now your heart is yearning to be there. Do you want to know what beautiful places this heavenly island holds? A little spoiler, it has active volcanoes, ancient temples, and dazzling beaches to save your soul. Watch this video till the end, and we're sure you won't need any other guide. But before we do that, take a second and hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can bring more such videos for you in the future. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Deganungan Waterfall Bali is home to a number of waterfalls, and most of them are located around the town of Ubud alone. Deganungan is the first one of them, and it's probably the most iconic and well-known in the entire Bali. We bet you've seen it somewhere across an influencer's post. And let us tell you, it is worth the hype. Located 30 minutes from Ubud, it's one of the most beautiful and eye-catching waterfalls on the island. If you start the trip early in the day, you can get the place all to yourself and enjoy the beauty surrounded by the greenery and breathtaking stream of water. But here's one thing you should know. The site has a lot of stairs, like many other waterfalls in Bali. Uma Anyar and Sumamban Waterfalls The second most beautiful place in Bali is another waterfall. It's the Uma Anyar Waterfall that we're talking about. What makes this so beautiful is its double-tiered stream of water and the fact that, unlike many other falls, this one doesn't plummet directly into a pool. Instead, it falls onto rocks and flows away toward the next level of falls below. We recommend you take a local guide with you. And then comes Sumamban Waterfall, another hidden gem that's located at a 5-minute drive from Uma Anyar. It'll surely impress you with the lush rice fields surrounding it, towering palm trees, and hanging vines, making it feel like you're in the Jungle Book. What makes it so interesting is that it's not a natural waterfall, but created by the runoff from the local rice paddies. Keep an eye out for the stone carvings along the way, they are quite fascinating. Well, such captivating places must come with a lot of expense, right? No, this doesn't cost you a lot. Instead, it's very budget-friendly. But we do recommend you donate to the locals. Pasar Senibut We all need some souvenirs to keep a memory of the beautiful places we visit. And what could be a better place to find these souvenirs than the famous Ubud Art Market, aka the Pasar Senibud. Here you can take authentic art souvenirs and several other interesting things. You'll find beautiful silk scarves, handmade woven bags, baskets, hats, kites, and other handcrafted goods. Not to forget, it's also one of the best places for street photography. A true heaven for shopping lovers and photographers, isn't it? But we recommend you do your shopping before the tourist rush at 10 a.m. Also, keep an eye on where the locals purchase their goods to find the best prices. We recommend spending half an hour to two hours at the Kambuhan Ridge Walk before heading to the art market, which you'll find behind the resorts on Ubud's main street. Although the path is right next to Ubud's hustle and bustle, it almost feels like a separate world full of lush, green, and serene panorama. This brief but gratifying walk will take you along rice fields and palm trees. Officially, the walk continues to the Garza Cafe, but it's totally up to you how long or brief you make the Kampuhan Ridge Walk, depending on your time. We'd advise you to start your day early and enjoy the sunrise and tranquility of this place without a large crowd and the midday heat. Pura Tirta Empul you might be wrong if you thought Bali only had mesmerizing waterfalls and beaches. It is also home to ancient temples with ancient shrines. While there are several temples across the island, there's one that's not only well known among the locals, 
but also the tourists. Yes, we're referring to Pura Tirta en Pul, or Holy Water Temple. Originally built as a place of worship, this ancient monument has become one of the star tour spots. Devotees created this gorgeous structure as a dedication to Lord Vishnu, the Hindu god of water, way back in 926 AD, making it one of the oldest temples in the country. What's fascinating is that the temple's name means holy water spring in Balinese. We recommend taking some time to visit the temple as it has three courtyards. Also, you really don't want to miss the pond near the exit with koi fish. The temple compound has a bathing structure as well, where a pond regularly gives fresh water. Balinese Hindus go to this temple for ritual purification. Although visitors can participate in the bathing ritual, it's always better to hire a guide to perform the purification ritual. The Gate of Heaven at Lempuyang Temple If you wish to enjoy some calming natural beauty, go nowhere else but the Gate of Heaven at Lempuyang Temple. Famously known for its picturesque landscape, it's located in the eastern part of Bali. The gate and its temple are within the highlands of Mount Lempuyang. And believe us when we say you won't ever want to leave. But what makes it so unique? We say the mysterious and meticulously carved symbols on the gate are what makes it so fascinating. And as a cherry on top, the breathtaking background of this gate has a view of Agung Mountain. Besides that, the fascinating thing is that it makes you feel like you're touching the clouds when reaching your hands out. Not to forget, the beautiful forest of Bali Island appears even more stunning when seen from the spot. This gate has become a popular place for taking pictures, which it rightfully deserves. Who wouldn't admire the natural scenery which looks like a painting? The combination of majestic mountain and fluffy clouds indeed makes one fall in love with nature all over again. The Handara Gate Unlike the gate of Lempuyang Temple, the Handara Gate is the entrance to a golf resort. Why are there so many gates across Bali, you may ask? It's because, traditionally, in Indonesian culture, it symbolizes an entrance from the outer world to the temple. Well, in this case, it's an entrance to a golf course. The Handara Gate creates a stunning backdrop with lush green mountains, crater lakes, and the equatorial rainforest. Another interesting fact about it is that the golf court, snuggled inside a crater of an extinct volcano, is almost at an altitude of 1400 meters above sea level. So when you get down there, don't forget to keep your camera ready to capture one of the most amazing places on the island. We're in love with its unique beauty. We believe you'd be too. The Man Ujung Water Palace Remember the time when a palace used to be one of our dream places? Well, what if we told you that you actually get to stay in one? We bet you're excited! The thing is that you can actually stay at the Tamanujung Water Palace. This palace is a heritage site of the Karangasen Kingdom, incorporating a mixture of Balinese and European architecture. Set against the background of Mount Ajung and the eastern shoreline, this palace is a blend of architectural structures and natural sceneries. To the southeast is the hill range of Bukit Bisbis, and in the south is Ujung Beach with its blue horizon. In contrast, an expanse of green rice paddies lies to its east. And to the northwest of Tamanujul is a collection of cottages meant for overnight visitors. You can also visit the Pura Manikan Temple, located within the grounds of Tamanujul. And to top it all, there's a revered water spring used by devotees and pilgrims. We suggest you keep this relaxing and recreational palace at the top of your bucket list. Green Bowl Beach This one is for adventurers, because Green Bowl Beach is rarely crowded despite being exquisite. The name Green Bowl comes from the bright green seaweed covering the rocks at low tide. The steep slope down hundreds of steps is part of the appeal and only adventurers and die-hard surfers would prefer its uncrowded and exotic location. The steep descent may be physically demanding, but what you'll find upon reaching the beach will make it worthwhile. You see a perfect stretch of white sand at the beach and two big sea caves to explore. The flight, while walking down, is home to herds of long-tailed gray monkeys. 
Still, they remain timid unless you intentionally hand them food, which we wouldn't recommend. There are no lifeguards on duty here, so swim, snorkel, and surf. But be careful. We believe this beach is one of the best sites for surfing, and its location is best for watching the sunset. Whether you want to explore or just relax, this beach is definitely one of the best. Its wilderness is its genuine beauty, but just a little heads up. If you plan a visit, make sure you go when the tides are low. Pasar Badu Now, what good is visiting a new country if you don't try authentic cuisine? To get the best of the local cuisine in Bali, we recommend you pay a visit to Pasar Badung, otherwise known as Badung Market. It's Denpasar's central hub for local cuisine in South Bali, a one-stop shop for everything under the sun. Still, the main attraction is authentic Balinese street food. We recommend you try out lawar for breakfast or save it for lunch, and pair it with the Escalapa Muda, because there's just no better combo. In fact, it was also ranked as one of the most delicious drinks in the world by CNN. And this is it, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video. Do share your ideas for the following videos in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one. Goodbye.